Hello YouTube people, I bought the most popular watch on Aliexpress. If you type in watch on Aliexpress search box and sort everything by the orders, so the number one position with the most sales has over 19,000 units sold. So it must be good, right? Well, it's one of the cheapest watches on Aliexpress, so I do not expect anything to be honest. And speaking about the name on the dial, Genève, I don't like that. But about that towards the end of the video. First of all, let's check the quality control. Is it any good? In terms of a comfort, this watch is alright. It's a lightweight watch, surprisingly good bracelet for the money. My only complaint would be that the gap between holes is a little bit too big. So it's either too loose for me or too tight. But bracelet is actually surprisingly good for the money. No sharp edges. It's, it's pretty good. Initially it was a little bit stiff. But I squish it a little bit to form around my wrist a little bit better and now it's actually pretty comfortable. The only other problem is that the black paint is wearing off rather quickly. Quality wise I haven't found any major quality control problems, only minor. Uh, like between the lugs the edge of the case is a little bit rough. But for this kind of money I'm not really complaining. I like those sloping edges on the case, they, they make this watch look a little bit slimmer, a little bit more elegant. I like skeletonized hands, but at least something is a little bit interesting about this watch. But I don't like how short those hands are. This handset looks like it came off of a much smaller watch. Now how is the crown action? Crown action, well, crown feels very well damped. It has very good friction, it's not too loose, but the sensitivity is very high. It's The minute hand feels very jumpy, it's, it's rather difficult to set it exactly where you want it. And when you push it in the crown, minute hand sometimes jumps like half of the minute, which could be a little bit annoying sometimes. Generally speaking, it's not horrible, it's not, not too bad. And this watch doesn't have loud ticking sound, which is surprising. It's not annoying. It's audible, but it's not too bad. Now, what is the most surprising thing about this watch is that I have found zero dust on the dial. It is absolutely clean, which is very unusual at this price level to get a watch without any dust on the dial. My problem with this watch is the Genève name on the dial. And I'm not speaking about Genève seal on watches, on fancy Swiss watches, nothing about that. I'm speaking about generally just using city name on the dial. For example, if I would, if I would be making any product and if I would want to use my city name on a packaging, I would have to get a license, a permission from Konas, from my city, to use that name on packaging. Otherwise, I would get legal problems. How are they making this legally? I have no idea. Is this watch legal? It's very questionable. It's borderline fakery. But most importantly, it screams fake fanciness it's like if this watch would have any other name on the dial like thomas teddy bernie whatever i wouldn't have a, a single problem with this watch but with genève on the dial it's like wow so fancy genève this watch has absolutely nothing to do with genève why the hell there is genève on the dial it triggers me so much 